when it's cold outside, it's always nice to have something warm to eat. And something many people do is enjoy booyah this time of year. Emily Dean joins us live with more. I am. Good morning, Angie, Doug, Morton, everybody. It's getting hot out here because booyah, look at this, it's cooked over a wood fire. And it smells wonderful. You got the wood fire and then you also got the booyah in here. That's cooking. Todd, let's show everybody where we're at right now. It's come to a boil already. We've been out here this morning. That just looks wonderful. And there's no arugula in there. There's rutabaga that's in there, everybody. That's what's cooking in there. So right now, and Todd, what are we about to do at this point? Uh, we're going to put the chicken and, and, and the beef in here now. And, and uh, like I said, we're a little different here. We pre-cook the beef and the chicken before and, and use the... Uh, the broth as our starter base and uh, so you know hence the uh, you know boneless skinless so now we're going to be putting the the meat in okay and we'll go from there okay and we said one thing that oxtail was that, well, that, that people that, a lot of people here? oxtail yes <laughs> so we just we just we we decided to put the just just plain beef okay you want, i just don't want this to all pop out and then come back up because this is hot mama and let's talk about this wood fire too that we got going here this big pot you got 50 gallons in here Talk about this. Well, it'll be 50 when we're done. <laughs> See, that's what we're talking about. Um, we okay. have we get this kettle from the Ashwaubenon retired firefighters, and they've been gracious enough to donate this to us uh, over the last few years, and we really appreciate that. And then, you know, because we're you know uh, for the Boy Scouts, and it does go back to the uh, you know what we're uh, you know back to the boys and into the unit. And that, so we uh, we appreciate that. But uh, with, with the uh, um, this, we, you know, it's just regular wood. Get a constant uh, flame going or a constant or holes going, and a constant st source of steady heat, and just keep it up and uh, okay. Keep mixing up and so you're just gonna stir it now, and then what's what's the next step from here? You just keep stirring. Just stir it. Get it back up to a boil again. And then uh, we're getting to the final stages where we will be putting in uh, the potatoes and uh, some veg all. Okay. And uh, um, some uh, chicken broth. But uh, one of the ingredients that I like is the salt and pepper. <laughs> You're uh, the pepper king. Uh, I, I guess, yes, yes. I, I, I've been accused of putting too much pepper, but I, I have really watched how much I put in so well it looks but, great uh, and it smells great this morning at 9 a.m. St. Paul's United Methodist Church okay. you can come out here there's other booyah sales going on too you can check out our website fox11online.com to see one in your area we'll send it back to you yeah those booyah sales are popular this time of year and in the summer a lot of people hold them you know it's great just bring your own bucket fill yeah, it up. And draw lots of crowds <laughs> oh yeah thanks Emily see ya bye-bye